What is up, YouTube? Moderate Mods, and um, I'm finally back. I've been waiting for a long time to get this product uh, fixed. It came in damaged, and I had to deal with all that. So there was kind of delay on this, but this is going to be a really exciting video for all my 200 guys. Um, if you're not a 200 guy, I hope you still enjoy it. If you're going to watch through this thing, um, this is a really, really, really cool and must need upgrade for the 200s if you don't already have these. So as you've seen in the title, today I'm going to be doing the fog light upgrade. This is a notorious upgrade uh, for the car that um, not many people know how to do. So I'm gonna bring you guys a full in-depth install video for this. And I'm gonna be helping out my limited guys as well in this video. Um, if you're rocking um, a 200 that has um, already the standard single bulb smaller fogs, this video is gonna explain everything and a little bit more than what you need. Um, I'll explain on the parts where I'm explaining um, for the guys who don't have that to you guys that you don't really have to worry about this. So let me show you what I got and what I'm gonna be using to make this all happen. Okay, so first off, what you're gonna need, um, I'm gonna use the passenger side for an example. If you have um, a limited or maybe an Acer or even a C that just doesn't have whatever, if it doesn't have those fogs down there, if it has just that black plastic piece, no fog lights at all, this is another piece you're going to need. My guys with the single bulb fogs, you do not need this. Your car already comes with this. This is actually the bracket that holds on the new fog light or the fog lights itself. Um, this piece uh, comes in pairs. I will have a link to this in the description. Um, it was about 35 or 40 bucks. I can't remember exactly. Link to it from eBay. Um, took a couple days to ship. Not long at all though. Um, these are going to actually connect your fog together and then mount onto your bumper. So again, if you have fogs, don't mind this. You don't need this. You already have one on your car. And secondly, and most importantly, here's the fog that I will be upgrading to. So it is the dual LED um, standard with the higher trim Chrysler 200 fogs. And these things, man, emit so much light. If you haven't seen these, actually, I'm sure you've probably seen them on some of the 200s. If you haven't seen the light that it emits, it, it's insane. And I will definitely show you guys. I'm actually doing this at night right now after work. So it's dark. And when I get this done, it's going to be even darker. So we're going to definitely get some good nighttime shots of these things. Um, but I picked these up for 243 I think, or so. Link in the description to eBay as well. They came in a pair, very fast shipping, um, Headlight Depot. They were actually very, very, very quick for the response and very helpful getting me a replacement. And actually, the original one came in with these little plastic covers that go over your actual bulb that emit the light better, the projectors. Um, they came broken out. They were just dangling around inside and uh, it just, it killed me, you know? So I had to wait for that, but they got this out to me within five days or so, or six days. Um, they were quick response, very helpful. And um, I appreciate that a lot. So shout out to them. And that is the link to their company with these lights here. Um, and I'm gonna show you one more thing. This is gonna go for all my guys without fogs right now. So if you guys do not have fogs originally, like me, so I'm gonna be doing this straight all 100. Um, I have these daytime running lights down there at the bottom that you can't see right now, running off my ignition. So I'm gonna actually power these lights off my ignition as well. Um, in weeks to come, I'm going to actually buy the fog light, headlight switch, as well as the harness and run that and connect those in that way. But for now, I'm going to be doing this. So this will help any of you guys that don't really feel like doing the fog light switch or anything like that. Very, very easy. Go to your heart, your local auto store. I went to AutoZone, picked these up for five bucks. Uh, these are gold plated 3 16 female disconnects. Okay, right there. And there's what they are. So these actually will slide over the pin on the fog light, the positive and the negative pin where you actually plug in the harness. And all you do is you push, I'm gonna push my positive wire through and squeeze it down and my ground through another one and put them on. And I'll show you again later on when I'm doing that, 
where I'm getting my power from. Um, you can choose to do whatever you want to do. You can wire them up to your power from your headlights. So when your headlights turn on, they automatically turn on. It's completely up to you guys. This is your choice, but I'll show you where I'm wiring my from so you can get a better idea. Um, but this is going to make the job way more simple and basically replicate a, pl uh, a harness in a sense. So quick, easy, and it'll be tight on there. No loose fittings or anything like that. So this is going to be really helpful. If, again, if you do not have fogs, if you have fogs already, you are, you got probably half of this video to worry about, honestly. So let me quit talking about it. Let's get straight to it. The first step you're going to have to do is remove the bumper cover. So I'm going to show you exactly how to get this thing off guys. Let's go. All right, guys. So coming to the front of the car, first place you're going to start is right here. You have all these little rivets right here. You're just going to pop these little push pins out and then that will expose more screws. So let's pop these all out. Okay guys, so after that, you have your exposed screws to remove um, from the top of the bumper cover, which are all 10 millimeter. You got one here, 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 there, there, and there. So take those off and then that'll remove the top portion. Friendly reminder, the two black screws go here and here with the bigger black circle around them. All the other screws are the same length. All right, guys, so now that we're under, you got your skid plate here, which are held in by, I'm pretty sure there were 10 millimeter bolts at a time. I actually removed all mine because um, I just do so much under there. Um, but there is a couple just all along the bottom. You'll see them. You will see them, not, not those Phillips. Those are actually my splitter, but... Right here, they're just held in by these little 10 millimeter bolts all the way along the bottom. And you wanna make sure you just get all of those off. So that's the only step I'm probably not gonna be able to do because mine's already off. And you just wanna be able to make sure that's loose and you can pull away um, from that. You'll actually be able to pull it down. Um, not all the way off, but most of the way off. And then I'm gonna try and make sure I can get this off with taking my splitter without taking it off. I'm pretty sure most of my mounts are actually into my um bumper itself so all you have to do is just pull down and your skid plate should drop down so some of these screws might be in both so i'm gonna have to work around here and see if i can figure out which screws are in and then once i get that off i'll be right back to you guys all right guys so next piece of the puzzle is actually going to be these three eight millimeter bolts on both left and right fenders so i turned my wheel a little bit to allow me to get better access to these bolts here. Again, three eight millimeter bolts. You wanna take these out to gain access behind your fender here. All right, guys, congratulations. You're way closer than you think. So once you come up, you're gonna see right where my finger is, right there, there's a T27 Torx bolt, Torx, Torx screw, I'm sorry that is right up in there and that's actually holding the bumper cover to the actual up here part the quarter panel so that is the last screw you have to take out and that will remove this entire side you have to do the same steps the eight millimeters and then the torques over on that side so i'm going to go ahead and do that side as well get those two drop down here and i will show you the final step okay guys so crucial next step is Right here, once you get that off, get my hands in here. Just to show you too, if I can. That's where your T27 is gonna be at, right there. Okay, so next step is to get the actual pins out. So in between, you're gonna see, it's gonna be kind of hard to tell, but there's gonna be right there, right? there in that area i'm gonna try to get my flathead in there but it's gonna be kind of challenging well anyways right in there are gonna be the pins that are gonna be holding it in all you have to do is get your flathead in between that point okay and just push it in there and that will lift up allowing you like that like like so just get it in there 
and then get your hands up in here and that'll allow you to actually pull there you go start pulling it apart if you don't get that in there there you go if you don't get that in there it will actually lock itself in and be almost impossible now you have all your screws out you just need to work your way around so now i got it the two front sides popped off just gonna work my way around and start popping this thing out All right, as scary as it looks, it's off. So fog light, or fo I'm sorry, fog light. Your harness for everything is right here. You can go ahead and disconnect that. What I'm gonna do is, with all this going on, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my battery first, just to be safe. Heads up, if you guys have trouble removing this, there's a little red pin here. You pull back, and on the end of your huge gray clip, you push down and pry off from this one here. All right, so there it is, and uh, all its glory, off. You should really get yourself a splitter. It really holds the bumper up nicely. <laughs> no, but in all actuality, it wasn't that bad, guys. It's uh, kind of tedious and kind of hand scratchy if you got delicate hands, but just get up in there and pry away and you'll get it off. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what screws you need to take out to get those brackets in. You got a screw here and a screw here, okay? And then you have all these other little harnesses pushed in by push pins, holding it on like the wires just holding it in place and whatnot. So you're gonna wanna take this screw out and that screw out, which both appear to be seven millimeters. Okay, so got those two screws out. Now, like I said, it's really, really loose now. You just wanna go ahead and get these wires out and again, they're just held in by little push pins so you can pry off on them. Uh, it's gonna be pretty challenging, but it shouldn't be too bad. Just put a lot of force and you'll get them out. Guys, so once you get that off, you're gonna have a couple of pins. Um, unfortunately on this side, mine already broke, but it should be a silver pin like that. And that's gonna be holding in your bracket. Um, it should be one over here as well and possibly one over here, but I, I don't know exactly. Oh, there you go. You can look more on that side. There's one there, one there, one there. And you're just going to want to push those in and pry off. It's going to be hard, but um, again, this is where it gets challenging to the soft finger guys because it is some sharp plastic. But just get in there, use a flathead or so, pry down, release those pins, and then your whole bracket should come out. Okay, so you saw me apply a ton of pressure there. Uh, that is because these black pins down here are like the inverted ones, and boy, they got a bite. So you really got to apply pressure, push and pull, and but uh, there it is. Old bracket is gone. Bye bye, eleven dollar DRLs in time for two hundred and fifty dollar fog lights. Not very moderate, but yeah. So okay, let's go ahead and grab our bracket and line that thing up. All right, guys, so now we have our driver's side bracket. We're just gonna go ahead and line it up and the pin should push right up back in. Unlike this one here that is completely damaged, but we're not gonna worry about that one. We're just gonna get our other brackets in. Okay guys, so that was very challenging. <laughs> um, you're gonna wanna work, however you wanna work these in, you can, but the hardest ones are gonna be these top ones right here. What I found is there's little holes on each uh, right side of them that I was able to shove this in, push through, gently pry up, and it would pull it in and you'll hear a little click. And now it's all lodged in though, and all the way around good. Okay guys, once you got it back in place, don't forget your Two screws here, boom, and boom. Get those back in, and then you're ready to put the fog in. Okay, guys, so now I have that screwed back in place, and it is on there, like, really tight. You're going to find your light, and you're going to set it in, and it should 
line up again like I showed you earlier with those holes and that'll give you access to hole here, a hole here, and a hole down here. Um, however you do it, you you could find a way. You could um, you know get a bolt with a washer and a nut to tie it in. Um, you can get those slide in pieces that have the holes in them that you can screw through. I'm just going to screw a little bit off to the side right into the bracket with some uh, tapping screws. So whatever you do, just find a way to get it mounted in and tight. Um, I wouldn't recommend gluing it because you need to find something that's actually gonna keep this thing attached properly and for a long time to your bumper. So um, this is one of your own steps. You could even grab zip ties if you really wanted to, to here, which I might do as well as screw just for some extra, extra support. So grab yourself uh, some zip ties and then zip tie here and zip tie here. That'll hold it in place and then I'll allow you to screw it in um, or do whatever you'd like to do. So I'll get right back to you guys when I get that done. Okay guys, so there is my zip ties, which held it in surprisingly tight. A tapping screw, another tapping screw, and then down here, one more. So that thing, it's so in there, it ain't going anywhere. So that is basically what you have to do for both sides, 100%. Uh, so just go ahead and do the same thing on that side. And then once you get it all mounted in, we're gonna go ahead and work on power. Okay guys, real quick, everything is connected, screwed in on both sides. So that aspect of it is all finished. So let's go ahead and move over to the electrical side. So here, I'll just show you. I ran, obviously, these for my daytime running lights. So basically, you got your positive and your negative, your ground. And these are compression style pieces here. Yeah, there we go. Zoom in a little bit. I'll show you how to do it on the other side. But just to show you, that red, I'm running to my fuse box here. And this 20 amp fuse just like that. I'm actually running the daytime running light strip here off of it as well. So that will actually power on the lights when you turn the ignition on. So if the ignition is on um, and the car is running, the lights will power on. That's how I'm going to have my fogs for right now until I get the um, harness and run all that through. So let's go ahead and go over here and show you how we get that on. Hey okay guys, so coming to this side here, Gonna grab two of our connectors. And what you're gonna need is wire strippers to strip your wire. And I'm just gonna fold it over for the heck of it. And what you do is, all you do is you take your wire, you push it through that hole, and then you can run and tuck it up underneath in there. Or if you got thicker wire, you can just literally get it in that hole and then crimp down as so long as it's making contact with that metal. So once you get in there, take a channel lock or whatever and just crunch down. And you crunch down nice and hard and it's connected. And you literally just push that right onto the connector on your fog light. Okay guys, real quick to show you what I meant by the pins, these are it. You have your positive and your negative. That one there is gonna be your negative and that one is your positive. Just push those um, little gauge connectors on there and you will be good to go. Okay guys, so everything's connected back up. Uh, I'm just kind of slightly hanging it so you can see, but that's what they're gonna look like right there. So starting up, you just wanna work your way in from the side and around. It'll be easier with a buddy, but it's doable with one. So just work your way around, guys, to pop it all back in place. All right, so it's all clipped back in, guys. Um, now it's just steps in reverse, you know. Um, screw your sides in, do your the bottoms, finish up with your top, or whatever, whichever way you want to do it. Just get everything screwed back up, and then um, the best part, I'll show you guys right after. Okay guys, so here we are, the best part. Like I said, we are outside and um, this is it. We got them all hooked up and everything. 
So I again have them wired up to my DRLs, so they should turn on when my ignition is on. So here we go. Look at that. These things are no joke, so bright. Oh my gosh. They're way brighter than my original DRLs. Let's uh, go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. Look at that. I mean, they're borderline headlights. You can basically drive these things without lights. So getting in the car, look at that. That's how bright they are. My headlights are not on, guys. So again, no headlights, just the fogs. Let's go ahead and turn on the headlights. Okay, there's my headlights. Without, with my headlights. So paired up with my LED headlights. We are bright, 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 bright. Look at that. I love it, guys. I love it. Amazing. It's a must do. Again, without my headlights. I mean, you're just getting that long distance range with the headlights. I, the up front is just remarkably bright. It's awesome, guys. It's so awesome. I love it. Well, guys, I'm gonna finish this one up in the dark so you can see. Um, there they are. I love them. I hope the video was easy to under easy to understand. Um, if you do have any questions at all, if you didn't get some of the parts, please, please, please comment, message me on Instagram, um, whatever you have to do. Just let me know so I can help you. But there it is factory OEM C fog lights guys black um, interior on them and these things are amazing again just the fogs just look how I'm gonna put you right up in front of the car just the fogs guys I love them and I hope you guys too too so I'm gonna get down so you can see me and until the next one thank you for checking out moderate mods peace uh -huh.